Good morning. I am Kapil Nahar, Assistant Professor at Mewad University. I welcome you all for this first lecture of Operations Management. In this lecture, we are going to start the first unit, and this is the syllabus that we have discussed in the introduction class also. So we are going to start the first topic of unit one, which is productivity. So what is productivity? Productivity refers to the measure of how efficiently resources are used to produce goods services or other desired outcomes so in simple word productivity is basically output divided by input it is a crucial concept in economics business and everyday life as it helps gauge the effectiveness of individuals organizations or even entire economics in achieving their goals now productivity can be uh, applied to various context including the first one is labor productivity so what is labor productivity this measures the efficiency of workers or employees in producing goods or services it is often expressed as output per hour worked and can be used to assess the effectiveness of a workforce second is capital productivity this looks at how efficiently capital such as machinery and equipment is used to produce goods or services it is an important consideration in industries with substantial capital investments next is total factor productivity and tfp tfp accounts for the combined efficiency of all the inputs not just labor and capital it takes into consideration factors like technological advancements organizational improvements and other non quantifiable factors next is personal productivity at an individual level personal productivity is the ability to manage time and resources efficiently to accomplish task and achieve personal goals next is the concept of productivity can be applied to economics or we can call it as economic productivity so in the context of a country or economy economic productivity is often measured as gdp which is gross domestic product per capita so gdp per capita is known as the economic productivity it reflects the overall efficiency of the economy in producing goods and services related to its population coming to the next uh, which is organizational productivity in business organizational productivity measures how effectively a company utilizes its resources to generate revenue and profits it can involve optimizing processes reducing waste and improving employee performances so these are the various types of productivity Uh, which and the productivity can be applied to the various context now productivity is basically an essential for economic growth and improved living standards higher productivity can lead to increased output and potentially higher wages and better living condition it is often a key focus for business and governments seeking to improve competitiveness and drive economic development now we have various strategies and techniques which can be employed to enhance productivity such as adopting better technology optimizing workflows providing training and education and creating a conducive work environment so these are some of the strategies that can be used to enhance the productivity at the organization level now we will see how to measure or what are the various methods for measurement of productivity so the first one is the labor productivity labor productivity is measured as output per hour so this method calculates the amount of output or work produced in a specific time frame for example one hour of labor it is commonly used to assess the efficiency of workers another is output per employee this metric measures the output produced by individual employees over a given period it helps assess the performance of individual workers 
next is capital productivity capital productivity is output per unit of capital this measures the efficiency of capital resources such as machinery or equipment it calculates the output produce for each unit of capital investment so now we can have one example how to calculate the productivity so this is the example we have the aqua uh, plastic which is manufacturing 2 lakh units of thermo flask in last year it utilized 10 workers and 5 machines working for 8 hours per day during 200 working days of the year what is the productivity of the company with respect to the labor and machine inputs taken together so now uh, we have to solve this numerical so basically uh, we have this uh, a company which is manufacturing 2 lakh units so this is the, basically the output of that particular manufacturing firm 2 lakh units we are manufacturing and then we have 10 workers for, and 5 machines working for 8 hours per day during 200 working days of the year so now we have to calculate the productivity of this company with respect to labor and machine inputs taken together so how to do that so for that uh, um, what we are going to do is we are going to calculate uh, the productivity here so uh, we can write it here as productivity basically it will be the output how many units number of units we have produced number of units produced divided by the input now the input is again here in two parts we have input one is the labor input and another is the machine input so we have both the inputs with us so uh, we have the labors working eight hours per day and for 200 days in a year and we have 10 workers so 10 workers working 8 hours per day for 200 uh, days in a year and similarly we have a machine which is working for 5 hours per day for 200 uh, sorry 8 hours per day and we have 5 machines so the machine is also working 8 hours per day and we have 5 machines so this is the number of machines number of machines and this is the number of workers that we have and this is 8 hours per day and 200 days in a year so uh, now we can calculate the productivity which is the number of units 2 lakhs per year divided by this input 8 hours per day multiplied by 200 days in a year multiplied by 10 workers this is the input of uh, labor and since we have to calculate it collectively so capital or machinery is 8 hours per day again 200 days a year multiplied by 5 machines so this is how we can calculate the productivity which will be 2 lakhs divided by so this will be like uh, 1600 multiplied by 15 and then you can solve it to find that it will be around 8.33 units per hour so this is how we calculate the productivity i hope it is uh, a very simple example that we have taken so um, in the next lecture we will again discuss the various methods of productivity how to calculate and then we'll take some more examples on that so in this lecture we have uh, defined productivity what are the various contexts in which the productivity is used and then finally uh, we have seen the formula for productivity or how to measure the productivity in case of labor productivity in case of product capital productivity and at the end we have taken one example where we have to combinedly use both the kinds of productivity and then uh, we have to calculate so this is how uh, we can solve this numerical of productivity so I hope it is clear to you. You can post any queries in the chat box also and I will be answering your queries and then we'll be 
in the next class or in the next video basically we are going to have a discussion on other kinds of productivity uh, so this is i think all about from my side so thank you very much for listening thank you